Central Week. Let me first start by saying welcome and thank you to all for being here. Sorry for the first day. Thank you. I beg your pardon, this is Matthew. <laughs> uh, I've known Victoria all of her life. <laughs> and yes, I know you will actually be surprised I'm actually old enough to say that, because unfortunately it is true. <laughs> it was obvious that when Tom and Victoria met each other for the first time at school, that their caring, generous and carefree attitude to life and to each other meant they were destined to spend their life the rest of their lives. Victoria has the sweetest, most innocent and non-judgmental attitude to everybody and every situation she's ever done. Tom is both thoughtful, caring to everybody he meets, and always willing to put himself out by helping wherever he can. Therefore, I truly believe that together they have the perfect set of ingredients to create the perfect recipe for a continued, long and happy life for each other. Finally, can I ask everybody to stand and raise their glasses so our special people thank you. 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 I'd like to start by saying how hey, stunning and beautiful my bride looks. I'm sure you'll all agree. We've been together now for over 11 years. There have been many highs and a few lows. Difficult times have been being apart at university and during the And during travelling. But we've managed to overcome these difficult times. I'd like to take you through three occasions in my life that have made me think Victoria is the girl for me. The first one was when I was 18 years old and we only just started going out with each other. I was in Peru trekking. It was a hard work and I was very tired. I took a rest by the side of the river and realised all I could think about was Victoria. I've never felt like this before and I'm going to be honest, it did scare me. <laughs> the second time was during our travels together in Australia. We decided we were going to walk to the top of Bears Rock. But three quarters of the way up, Victoria decided she was too hot and too tired to go to the top. I decided that I didn't want to miss the opportunity to get to the summit myself. So I found some shade, gave her some water, and gave her all the bags to look at. Whilst I continued to the top. To get to the top, obviously the views are incredible. The only thing that was missing was Victoria. I took some photos, was about to turn around to walk down, but in the distance I could see her. Rucksack on her back, striding, double pace. She got to the top. She was very, clearly very tired, very emotional, but I could see how happy she was in the face. I was never been so proud of her in all my life. Even today, sometimes when we have difficult times or troubles, I simply say to her, Air's rock, we can overcome anything together. The third time was in Nepal. I was trekking with Chris for several weeks. It was difficult and times were hard. We talked about everything from zombie apocalypses to my feelings towards Victoria. It was here I decided I wanted her to be my wife. Twelve months later, she said yes, and here we all are today, celebrating our special day. More recent trips with my father to America were also enjoyed, but this did not mean I did not I missed, still miss Victoria. Whilst I was away, internet access was limited. When I did manage to get to a computer, I always emailed. I'd like to read you an email that I sent. I've titled it, Things I Love About Victoria. I love the way you look, just waking up from a nice sleep. I love the way you hug me in bed. I love the way you smile and laugh. I love the way you care about me. I love the way you would cry when watching soppy films. I love the way you look at me over the dinner table in a restaurant. I love the way you will use a straw when drinking out. <laughs> I love the way you think soaps on TV are real. <laughs> I love the way you sing along to songs. I love the way you throw your dance moves in the kitchen. I'm sure you'll see some later. <laughs> I love the way you are patient with me at times. I love the way you snort a little sometimes when sleeping. <laughs> I love the way you hold my hand. I love the way I always wash and you always dry the dishes. I love the way we have our own special codes. 
all of the while you love me. Oh. 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 opportunity to thank both sets of parents for their help, support and guidance, both as a couple and prior to this. We're both very grateful, so thank you. Have some tokens of appreciation, so please accept these gifts. I would also like to thank the bridesmaids. Amy, you've always felt like a sister to me, and now it's official. We're family. <laughs> <laughs> and now my sister, the best memories I have of you is sat around our dining table, knocking over water or saying just something that broke you. It was never a dull moment. Claire, you've been a great friend to me for the last 23 years, and I thank you for this. I hope we too now are friends. That brings me on to the best men. Yeah. Robbie, we've been friends since university, and whilst we don't always see each other as much as I'd like, due to the distance, whenever we do see each other, it's always good. Thank you. I'd like to thank you for your friendship and help and support for the day, and as all of you here. Chris, we've been together. Together? <laughs> <laughs> friends now for over 12 years. You make me laugh, you make me cry. I respect your opinions and your honesty with me. And again, thank you for your help and support today. I'd also like to take this chance to express how grateful I am for my nan for being here today. And I'd also like to take a moment to think of both sets of grandparents that would have loved to be here. I'm sure they're looking down on us here today. Finally, I'd like to thank you all for coming. To you that has made today so special. Firstly, I'd like you all to raise your glasses to my beautiful wife. To my beautiful wife. And second, to everyone here. Friends and family. I'd now pass you on to my best men, Rob and Chris. They are currently the best men, but at this speech on this morning they may not be. <laughs> <laughs> so I hand you over. Thank